Yellowstone National Park has once again become the center of global attention. In less than 48 hours, three major incidents occurred simultaneously beneath North America's most active geothermal area. Scientists are calling this a serious warning sign for the Yellowstone supervolcano Caldera, a sleeping giant yet always watched anxiously. Starting early Sunday morning, October 5, 2025, the USGS United States Geological Survey monitoring system recorded a surge in seismic activity in the Norris Geyser Basin, Yellowstone's hottest and most unstable area. In 48 hours, more than two, 300 micro-earthquakes were recorded at suspicious depths, three to seven kilometers below the surface. Most of the quakes were below the threshold for human perception, but their pattern and number have volcanologists concerned. This activity is called a swarm, a group of earthquakes that can indicate magma movement or changes in pressure beneath the surface. The head of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO monitoring team stated that although there is no immediate indication of an eruption, the earthquake depth pattern, ranging from 3 to 7 kilometers, is deep enough to suggest magmatic activity worthy of concern. YVO also compared this event to several previous episodes, such as the large swarms in 2002 and 2013, which also occurred around the Norris Geyser Basin. Neither resulted in eruptions but produced significant changes in the hydrothermal system and caused minor ground deformation. What makes the 2025 event more concerning is the rapidity of the accumulation of activity. More than two, 300 micro-earthquakes in just two days, and the suspicious depth in a zone typically indicative of magma intrusion activity. While a major Yellowstone eruption is considered a highly unlikely scenario in the near future, experts warn that local hydrothermal explosions caused by pressure from trapped superheated water could occur at any time without much warning. During the earthquake sequence, visitors and researchers at Norris Geyser Basin also reported strange occurrences, the ground bubbling, hot steam rising from new cracks, and a stronger than usual pungent sulfur odor. Some hot pools changed color, and sensors recorded a short-term rise in ground temperature of up to 30%. This phenomenon raised concerns that hot fluids or volcanic gases were moving from deep within the Earth toward the surface. Typically, such events signal a buildup of underground pressure. The strange phenomenon that occurred in conjunction with the earthquake sequence at Norris Geyser Basin is not something to be taken lightly. A short-term rise in ground temperature of up to 30% indicates that heat energy from within the Earth is being concentrated and released abnormally. This typically occurs when underground pressure begins to build up and seeks an outlet through cracks opened by the earthquake. Volcanologists fear this could be an early sign of more serious volcanic activity. Yellowstone's hydrothermal system, known to be highly sensitive to changes in pressure and temperature, may be entering a phase of instability. If this pressure continues to build without adequate release, the possibility of a hydrothermal vent or even a magmatic eruption cannot be ruled out. Hydrothermal vents, while typically smaller than large volcanic eruptions, can release enough energy to cause significant damage and endanger the safety of visitors. This culminated in an eruption on Monday night, October 6, 2025, when Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted massively, spouting a plume 115 meters high, its highest in two years. Even more striking, this was the fifth eruption in just one month, breaking its normal random pattern. This eruption was also accompanied by a surge in steam pressure, 
underground booming sounds, and tremors recorded on seismic stations as far as 20 kilometers away. Some researchers have called this eruption a pressure release from the underground system, but it could also indicate a significant energy buildup underway. This phenomenon demonstrates the complexity and dynamics of the geothermal system beneath Yellowstone. The surge in activity at Steamboat Geyser and the recorded seismic activity are not isolated events. They indicate significant changes in pressure and temperature deep underground. This ongoing buildup of energy could be an early warning signal for potentially more serious volcanic activity, making intensive monitoring and further research crucial to understanding how this system will react in the near future. The Yellowstone caldera is one of 20 active supervolcanoes in the world and one of the most closely watched. With a history of major eruptions 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago, scientists acknowledge that while another eruption could occur at any time, the likelihood is extremely low in the near future. However, these three major incidents a massive earthquake, extreme hydrothermal activity, and the unusual steamboat eruption are alarm bells that cannot be ignored. Are these simply symptoms of a hyperactive Yellowstone or signs that something bigger is approaching?